I let you down, Jess. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, Sam. Oh, yeah? Easy for you to say, Ivy. She's not your daughter. No, I just meant... I know what you meant. Look, Jessica's not your concern. Okay? So there's no reason for you to be here. So just go home. You and Chad... didn't know you were related when you slept together, when you fell in love. Yeah, well, now we do, only he doesn't know he's the father of my baby. Look, if you breathe a word of this to anyone, Teresa, I swear... I'm not gonna tell anyone, Whitney, if you don't want me to. I just really want you to reconsider placing your baby up for adoption. But don't you see this is the right thing to do? Look, with any luck, it's gonna be raised with two loving parents who won't know the whole ugly truth. All right? And I'll just go somewhere and live somewhere else and put this whole thing behind me. You won't be able to, Whitney, I am telling you. Once your baby is born, once you hold him or her in your arms, everything but the love that you feel is going to fall away. Mm -mm. That's you, it's not me. Maybe it's news on Jane. I'm sorry, I know you're still waiting for word on your baby. That's okay. Listen, I'm still worried about you. No, I told you I just wanted some, you know, some time to myself. Mommy! Little Ethan must be having a bad dream, excuse you me. You know, why don't you let me get him this time, excuse me. What's wrong with her, Teresa? She acts like she doesn't even want to be around me anymore. Well, whatever it is, it's, it's between you and Whitney. Well, I'll tell you what it is. She's giving me the big chill. She won't answer any of my questions. Teresa, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Listen, you got to help me out here, OK? Listen, did, did she tell you what's really bothering her? Feeling better? Much. He is so amazing. Tell me about it. <laughs> hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. You know how much? I love you this much. That much. <laughs> that is what I call a real mother-son moment, not, not the ones that you have. <laughs> G go peel a banana from Precious. I would. She went home. Didn't want to miss The Apprentice. But not to worry, Bethy, Mommy is still here to keep you company. Because <laughs> they may not be able to figure out yet that you kidnapped Marty from Sheridan. But they will. I mean, for heaven's sakes, look at them. The truth is going to come out any time now. And there's not a damn thing you can do about that boo-hoo. Sheridan will never have Marty. I won't let it happen.
Did you have a chance to consult with the other physician? We talked. You know Jessica's being examined to see if she's been raped. Now, look, can we prove that's what happened? Because I'm going to make that scum pay for what he did. No, I don't know yet, Sam. But when I do know, you will know. Thanks. Ivy, look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry for how I acted earlier. It's all right, Sam, really. I just can't stop beating myself up for what happened to my little girl. It's not your fault. <sighs> what, not being a good father to my girls? When Grace left, it fell on me to take better care of my children. It was time for me to step up, be both a mother and a father. God knows how vulnerable teenage children can be right now, especially girls. I've been completely remiss. Tied up with my job and... And me. Yeah. And you. You know, Sam, if there's someone to blame, it's me. I saw all the signs with Jessica, all of them, and I just turned away and hoped I was wrong. Look, Ivy, it's not your fault. If there's anyone to blame here, it's me for thinking that you could step in where Grace left off. But how realistic was that? Look, Jessica's not your concern, okay? You're not her mother. No, I'm not. Still, I could have done a better job. I mean, I know I, I haven't been much of a mother to my own daughters, but I did try to bond with Jessica, just not hard enough. I was afraid that you and she would... I think I was presumptuous moving in on Grace's territory. I mean, I was so afraid of stepping on somebody's toes that I have failed you and Jessica completely. I don't blame you for being angry with me. You have every right to be. Tracy, you are her best friend. I know she must have told you something about what's really bothering her or why she's been all over the map lately. She doesn't tell me everything, Fox. Since when? Come on, you two always have your heads together. And you're the one person that she could level with about anything. So, Teresa, if you know, you gotta tell me. Why isn't she excited about the baby? Well, who says she isn't excited? Well, she said it. She's made that more than clear. Teresa, I overheard her saying that she... Teresa, she said she wishes that the baby would die before it's born. Now, what the hell kind of thing is that to say? What expected mother talks like that? You know, Fox, it's hormones. Okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. Don't give me that whole men are from Mars garbage, okay? Because ever since Whitney's been pregnant, I've read up on this subject. Now, I know everything there is to know about raging hormones. And in all the literature that I read, not one time did it mention the mother wishing that her baby would die. Well, she's been through so much these past few months, no, you're you know? Right. I know, I know, and for the longest time, that's what I chalked up all of her upset to. But look, I don't blame her for being upset. I don't blame her for being confused. But what's bugging the hell out of me is I don't know what to do to help her. Because I really believe if, if she just told me what the real problem was, I could do something about it. I know I could. I wish I could help you. You wouldn't betray her confidence even if you did know something, would you? I can't say I blame you. But can you at least do something for me? I mean, can you tell me maybe what I can do to, to make things easier for her? I mean, there's gotta be something I can do. Yeah. Um, love her, be there for her, and until she decides to talk to you. Suppose I could do that? I wish there was something else I could do, you know? Little Ethan went right back to sleep. See, Whitney, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, it just goes to show what a wonderful, wonderful mother you're gonna... Yes. Yeah. I mean, what I meant was it's it's good, you know, that the little guy sleeps, it's good for him. It's nice. Little Ethan loves you, Whitney. Maybe that, the, it's news on Jane. No, I'll, I'll get it. Okay.
Have they found Gwen and Jane? I'm afraid not, no. But you listen, listen to me. We're gonna find them. You say that. But you don't know how, do you? I don't. I don't know yet. I miss her. I want her home. I can't bear another Teresa, Teresa, <laughs> listen to me. I'm I'm here. I'm here, and we're gonna get through this together. We're gonna be here for each other, okay? <laughs> Here I am, Marty. Here's your mommy. Sheridan, I'm not sure you're supposed to be out of bed. Oh, no, it's all right. I feel so much better now. Yeah, don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye on her. <laughs> hey, you know what I was thinking? I think Marty would really love to see that new Shrek video in the playroom. I'll take him down there. Great. Now? I, I mean, why do we... Yeah, let him go, Beth. We need to talk, <laughs> the three of us. Um, okay. Well, um... See you in a while, crocodile. <laughs> mm, love you. <laughs> well, what's so private that we can't talk in front of our son? Oh, I just thought now would be a good time for us to continue our conversation. About Marty's custody. Did you? Oh, I don't. I mean, it's not the right time. It's not the right place. Well, why not? I just figure the sooner we can hash out the details, the sooner I can start spending more time with Marty. I've always encouraged you to spend time with Marty. You're welcome at our house anytime. Well, I don't mean <clears throat> being with you. I meant spending time with Marty, with Sheridan, at our home. I really don't think we need to formalize anything. I do. Not that I don't trust you. I'm. Totally thankful for our friendship. I just, you know, what do they say? Putting things down on paper, that's the best way to stay friends. I just want to be in Marty's life more. And I want him to spend time with Sheridan. And, well, not that you and your mother would, would ever be anything other than Marty's first family. But the bottom line is, I want joint equal custody of Marty. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it'll just be confusing. No, I don't think it'll be confusing. In fact, you know what? I think that it'll be great for Marty. I mean, he's already wild about Sheridan. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, considering the way that he bonded with her when he was an infant. Yes! And it was always so touching the way she was able to nurse <laughs> Beth's breasts, being all dried up and all... You know. <clears throat> so what do you say, Beth? Look, if anyone's to blame for the situation my daughter's in right now, it's me for expecting too much of you when we got back together. But Jessica is my responsibility. She's my daughter, okay? Completely. No, Sam. Whatever happens in your family, it involves me now, too. And when Jessica recovers... And if she recovers. When Jessica recovers, I promise I am going to be a better role model for her. Look, Ivy, I don't think that that's the answer here. No, you need help. I, I do need help. And I know where I'm going to get it. I'm going to have to call Grace and have her come home from Europe. Okay? Jessica needs her right now. So do I. No, you can't do that. Sorry I keep breaking down like this. Stop. There's no need to be sorry. I understand. I know you do. You understand better than anyone. Where did you get that bruise? Oh, um, you, you don't even want to know. No, I do, actually. You didn't fill him in? I, I really didn't have time. What? What happened? Um, Jessica. Jessica was attacked. 
at this uh, club downtown called The Basement. Wait, I've heard of that place, and there's a lot of drugs going on down there. Yeah, used to be. Anyway, some, some jerk got Jessica high and took her into some back room Don't that was there. She almost died. And she's in the hospital ER right now. Um, is my sister okay? Yeah, yeah, Simone's fine. She was with Kay all night. Thank God. Anyway, Chad and Fox and I, we took the liberty of going down there and, well, we did a little, uh, renovation. What do you mean? Well, it's basically not even there anymore. At least these guys that have been slipping these young girls' drugs, they're not going to be working out of that place anymore. Well, what about the guy who did what he did to Jessica? Well, Sam's partner? got him. Sam's taking care of him. Oh. Poor Jessica. God, I can't believe she let herself get involved with someone like that. Talk about not being the best world to bring a baby into. Can you guys excuse us? Whitney, will you come with me and make some coffee in the kitchen? Sure. Yeah. So great. Looks like you're moving in, huh? No, not really. I just, um... While Jane's gone, I thought I'd give Teresa a hand around here. You know, Pilar's not around during the day, and little Ethan's a little too young still to sure, help out. Sure, sure, no. There's no reason to explain. Well, sounds to me that there is. No, oh, come on. Well, what's not to understand, right? I mean, your wife kidnaps Teresa's baby, and you know, they're off God knows where, and, you know, Teresa needs a uh, shoulder to cry on. Yeah, she does. I mean, yeah, she needs support right now. Yeah. And there's no one on this planet that could fill that position quite like you. Isn't that right? You are my passion for life. What do you, what do you mean I can't tell Grace to come home? No, I just meant that I don't think that that's the solution you're looking for here. Well, sure it is. Grace is Jessica's mother. I know she'd want her to be here to get, help her get through this. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. I mean, look, I know there's no great love loss between you and Grace. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, I just don't think that's the best idea. Think about it, Sam. Grace headed off to Europe, and she really hasn't looked back now, has she? Oh, sure she has. She calls and writes often. Often? You could count the postcards from Europe on one hand. That's not true. <sighs> Look, whatever Grace may or may not be guilty of, she adores her daughters. And from what I understand, she checks in several times a week, one way or another. Look, I know she wants to know what's going on in Jessica's life, even the bad things. You're not like Grace, okay? Her children mean everything to her. Right. Oh, right. That's why she walked out on them to be with David and left you holding the bag. So she could rekindle her love affair with her first husband. Yeah. Ivy. Now, if we're in a truth-telling mood here, Sam, then let me have my say. I know that everybody in Harmony thinks that Grace was this great earth mother, this tomato soup cake casserole queen. But I used to watch her, and I'm not so sure that she's deserving of the title Mother of the Year. Ivy, don't do that. No, this. if she was such a great mother, Sam, then tell me, please, how did Kay end up getting pregnant by her own cousin's boyfriend? And how did she end up dropping out of school and working god-awful shifts at the cannery with a bunch of careworn old women? Isn't it a, a mother's job to help prepare their children for the future? Uh, of course it is. <sighs> Look. Kay has, 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 has made some mistakes, yeah. okay? But you can't blame Grace for that. Because if you do, then you're gonna have to blame me too. No. No, I'm sorry, you were the chief of police working around the clock. She was the primary caregiver here. She messed up, first with Kay and now with Jessica. Well, Your daughter has gone to hell and back tonight, Sam. And she was violated in a, in a brutal and violent way. Which is why Grace needs to be here. Now, Jessica needs her mother right now, okay? And I'm going to call her. You know, I think you're making way too big a deal out of this. Just an overnight bag. 
You know what Teresa's been through. She's been through a traumatic time. It's bad enough she lost the use of her legs, Fox. Her newborn infant has been kidnapped. I think anybody in her position would need a little support. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I mean, you'd, you'd be there to give it to anybody if they were in need. Is that, is that what you're claiming? I'm not on trial here. No, 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 Fox. no, you're not on trial. I'm, I'm making an observation, Ethan. That's what I do, make observations. And I, I know little Jane is your daughter, too, but it seems to me that your being here has more to do with your devotion toward Teresa than anything else. Now, you feel free to stop me whenever you think it's appropriate. Good, I me. think you should stop now. All right. Uh, one final little tidbit. I saw the way you were looking at Teresa earlier, Ethan. And now I'm standing here and I'm kind of wondering if Gwen didn't have a really good reason to want to leave. Because if she sees what I see, that you're still in love with Teresa, I can't say I blame her for splitting. I'm not even going to pretend to have any idea of what you're going through. Well, I certainly hope not. Until you're pregnant by your half-brother, I don't want to hear it. Well, tough. Because I'm not going to let you get away with how you're dealing with this. For starters, Whitney, your situation could be a lot worse. Worse? Oh, what, by learning I'm having twins or something? No. By being alone with your problems. But you're not. No, aside from your mother and your father and me, you've got Fox, who worships the ground that you walk on. Well, that's his problem, isn't it? <laughs> Don't dismiss him like that, Whitney. I know you have feelings for him. You know, watching you in agony is killing him. For the life of him, he can't understand what's upsetting you so much about your pregnancy. He loves you, Whitney. He wants to marry you, raise that baby with you, have a family together, a hopeful future. What is so unacceptable about that? Do you really need to ask me that? This baby isn't Fox's. I can't marry him. How do I do that? How do I marry a decent, honest man knowing that I'm hiding this horrible secret from him? My mother lied to my father the whole duration of her marriage, and I'm not going to be like her no matter what. All right? I'm not going to do the same thing to Fox. Look, I'm not giving you a flat-out no, Luis. I just think that it bears taking some time to think about it. Okay, well, I have thought about it, Beth. But I'm not going to change my mind. Now, the fact is that Marty is my son, too, and I'm entitled to spend as much time with him as you are. Well, le legally, yes. But isn't what's most important here Marty's emotional well-being? Well, absolutely. And that's why I think it's so important for us to start sharing custody now while he's young. It'll be without trauma or confusion. And a boy does need his daddy. Exactly. Especially during these formative years. And Beth, really, admit it. This is what's best for, for me and Sheridan and you and... Well, especially Marty. Look, no, no, there's no two ways about it, okay? I have to call Grace. She needs to know what happened tonight. And if I know her, she'll be on the first flight home. Right, all the way from Europe. Do you even know where she is, Italy, Spain? Why... Look, I think that David had an assignment in France. Look, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm sure she'll be on that first flight home. Eve, did you get the results of the rape kit? No, not yet, but soon. I mean, it's not as if we don't already know that there was sexual activity. But I know my daughter would never willingly do this. Oh, Sam, I don't know if the rape kit is going to give you the answers that you're looking for. I mean, since there's no sign of force, all the rape kit can do is confirm that Randy is the guy that she was with. So if we can't prove it was rape... No, he'll pay. I guarantee you he's going to pay. I think we should press charges anyway. We know he's guilty. Yeah, well, I think we should, too. You know, but I've seen these things happen too many times. When there's no physical proof, all this slime ball needs is a cutthroat attorney, one that'll try to turn things around and make it look like it's her fault instead of his. That's outrageous. Yeah, well, you tell me about it. 
Look, I'm gonna get down to the lab and make sure that those rape kit results are put in evidence. I don't think I've ever seen him so upset. No, this is really tearing him up. He wants to call Grace and have her come home. Oh, I bet you just hate that idea, don't you? Can you blame me? Sam and I were finally back together, and if Grace comes home, I... And you are a selfish witch, Ivy. A young girl was brutally attacked tonight, and all you can think about is your love life. Jessica needs her mother. All girls need their mothers. But I don't suppose that would mean anything at all to you. Oh, I am supposed to take advice on motherhood from you, Eve, because you have been such a, a marvelous influence in your own daughter's lives. What are you going to teach me first, Eve? How to turn a blind eye so that my daughter can have an affair with her own brother? You shut up, Ivy. Just shut up. Oh, you don't throw stones, Eve, because you live in a very big, very public glass house. I wouldn't ask for joint custody if I didn't think that it was in Marty's best interest. Well, it's just that well, I don't... Well, take it slow. No rush. And you'll definitely be consulted on any and all decisions. And Beth, if you're worried about me spending more time with Marty, please don't be. And I, I promise that his happiness will be my number one priority. And he'll get so much love from me, he won't even know what to do with it all. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Oh. How is your video? Oh. <laughs> I missed you so much. You see, it's it's not just important for me to spend time with Marty, but for Sheridan too, you know? I think for her to be with Marty right now would really be the best medicine. Is her baby. You keep forgetting that in a lab. Desperately, you want to sweep that under the rug. That will not work forever because they have a bond, baby. A bond that you cannot begin to touch. That child, that child belongs with his real mommy and his real daddy. So, bad. you are looking at the beginning of the end. There's Mother's Day cards for mothers who have lied to their children and husbands their entire lives. You know, Ivy, I would love to go head to head with you, but not here. Not when I have patience. I just thought a teeny reminder was in order. You are not the arbiter of my behavior regarding Sam and Grace. In fact, you know, if it weren't for your invaluable assistance. I wouldn't even be with Sam right now, so I guess I really should be saying thank you. You can take your thank you and you can take it straight to hell. Because you know that you blackmailed me into keeping your dirty little secret about David. Yeah, well, that little detail, I don't think that's going to mean so much to Sam and Grace when they find out that you knew the truth from the very beginning. And that you could have kept their marriage together if you had just confided in your supposed best friend. As if you would let me. You threatened my relationship with T.C. and with Whitney and Simone. Which you managed to ruin all by yourself without any help from me whatsoever. Really, Ivy? Well, if that's true, I'm free. I've got nothing left to lose. Except the love and trust of Sam and Grace. It would be worth it to watch you go down. You won't. I don't know how you think you could say that to me after everything I've been through. Do you think I would not find joy in you getting your comeuppance? I would like the entire world to know that you fabricated that whole story about Grace's first marriage with David and that you forced me to tamper with John's DNA so that Grace would think he was her son. Oh, boy, would that be my idea of justice. You wouldn't. Because as much as you've lost, couldn't bear to lose the love and respect of your last friends. I wouldn't bet on that, Ivy. There is very little that I wouldn't do these days. Especially when it would just be righting a terrible wrong. 
Okay. Fine, I admit it. Um, yeah, I do have feelings for Fox. Which is exactly why I can't do this to him. I mean, letting him believe that this baby is really his would be destroying his life more than anyone. I mean, <laughs> come on, honey, face it. I'm really out of choices here. My life is completely destroyed, and it's all because of this baby. Don't blame your problems on an innocent, unborn baby, Whitney. That's not right. Yeah, but don't pretend like it's not true. I mean, come on. If this baby weren't in the picture, things would be a whole lot simpler for me. Yeah, okay, um, I would still have these awful feelings I'm having for Chad, but it wouldn't be so complicated. Now, look, the only hope I have... The only solution I can think of is to give this baby up for adoption as soon as it's born. And I will give it away. I'll move somewhere else by myself and start a new life. And just try to put this horrible thing behind me. There has to be another way, Whitney. There has to be. I have been over it and over it in my head and come up empty. This is the only thing I can do. Well, thank you. Thank you for your support on this, brother. Now, look, I don't judge you, Ethan, okay? I'm not judging you. I'm just putting it out there for you to take a look at. What are you gonna do about Teresa? What do you mean? Meaning, <laughs> right now, your wife's taking a powder. She's gone God knows where. And you can stay here and you can, you can play house with Teresa and you can pretend like it's because she needs your particular shoulder to cry on. One day, Gwen's gonna be found. Or she's gonna come back here on her own. When that day comes, you're gonna have to check yourself out, Ethan. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stay here? Are you gonna play house with Teresa? Or are you gonna go back to Gwen and be the true blue husband that you vowed to be? Now, I don't know much. All right, but I do know this. When that day comes, and it will come, you're going to have to make the decision of your lifetime. You know, why my love life bothers you when you have created so much chaos in your own, I don't understand. You know, the point is, Ivy, is that I'm not afraid of you anymore. So I've been through so much, it's just not even about me. It's just about right and wrong. And believe you me, if Sam and Grace can patch up their marriage and I can help by telling the truth, you better believe me, I am going to do it. Well, that's done. The rape kit results have been put in evidence. Good. Yeah, well, it's not enough. I still can't believe this has happened to my own family. I mean, how did my little girl become the victim of some drug-pushing sexual predator. Look, I'll never forgive myself, oh, never. Sam, you have to stop blaming yourself. You have been a wonderful father. No, oh, hardly. Look, Grace needs to be here. And I have to call her. And if she answers, I, I somehow got to muster up the courage to tell her what happened to Jessica. I think you're right, Sam. I think it's time for Grace to come home. She gave me her itinerary. I'm gonna call her. I don't envy you, Ethan. I mean, one of these days you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to face the music. No more excuses. Who says I'm making excuses? Hey, look, I'm... one of these days, and it could be tomorrow, for all we know. You're gonna have to face up to your feelings that you have for a woman that's not your wife. There's Gwen, there's Teresa, and Ethan, you're in the middle. You're gonna have to take a stand. Maybe they found Jane. No, I'm not interested in the subscriptions. Please, uh, don't call back, because this is a really bad time. You know, I just, I keep hoping, Ethan, I keep praying for some word, you know? Anything to tell me where Jane is, if she's safe. 
We'll find them. We'll find them. I'm not giving up until we find them. Was that about Jane? No. No. How you doing? Well, Fox, you know I've been thinking. And, um, you said if there was something that you could do to help me, I'll you do would anything. do it. I'll do anything. Will you help me by helping Teresa? Please, do whatever you can and find Gwen and Jane. Please, find them, okay? You know, I don't think Beth likes the idea of sharing custody of Marty. Well, I just took her by surprise. She'll come around. How can you be so sure? I know Beth. She's a reasonable person. Besides that, I'm Marty's father, and I have a right to spend time with him, and that's what I'm going to do. I just wonder if you would be asking for more time with Marty if it weren't for me. Yeah, it was always in the back of my mind. I just thought we'd do it once we got married, but now I don't see any reason why we can't start spending time with Marty right away, right? <laughs> It is time to give Marty back to his real parents. Please do the right thing for once in your wretched life, please. <sighs> My goodness, you're actually gonna do it. the hell I will. Sheridan's are not taking Marty. I will stop her from taking Marty away from me if that is the last thing that I do. Forget where you flew my wife and that other woman with the baby. It's imperative that they never be found. Of course, if Alistair finds out what I'm doing, he could damn well kill me. She was never my mother while I was growing up, and she's not my mother now.